what's going on everyone? This is Austin from Calling Our Shot and in today's Betting 101 Tips and Tricks video, we're talking about how to research and find good winning bets. Now first, if you're new to the channel, new to the Calling Our Shot community, I first wanna say welcome, thanks for joining us. This is episode three of our weekly installment of our betting tips and tricks video posted every single Wednesday. Episode one, we talked about bankroll management, unit sizing, hedging. Episode two, we talked about how to make a winning parlay. Both of those videos are linked down below or on our playlist on our channel homepage. So check those out if you haven't already. But let's get into today's topic, how to research and find good winning bets. Now, I do need to say as a disclaimer, if you follow this strategy, use these websites that I'm talking about, that you can quit your day job or become a full-time sports gambler that's rather unrealistic what I wanted to give you guys was more of a, a kind of guideline of what I do to produce those daily betting tips and tricks videos that you see every single day on the channel whether it's about NBA or MLB these are the websites I use this is the process I kind of use for those player props you guys are killing it on and those spreads and over unders you name it I get a ton of comments every single day about hey Austin what types of websites do you use or hey Austin how can I become a better sports gambler and that's the main purpose behind these this series of videos that we do every single week trying to make myself a better sports gambler as well as you guys if you have any tips and tricks that you think I missed or that you think I should cover in future videos please leave them down in the comments below as well as if you're new to the channel click that like and subscribe button it really really helps us grow this channel out and to get to where we want to be we're trying to grow this channel even more and more can't do it without your support let's get into today's video now we started calling our shot we started this channel talking about NBA player props and it has constantly evolved and now more spreads over unders player props MLB videos all of it but in today's video I'm gonna give you the websites I use and the process I use when I'm looking for those player props not only for NBA but for NFL we're gonna just break down each website what it's good for and what I think you guys should be using them for if you don't already I know a lot of our discord members and if you haven't joined the discord over a thousand members in our discord it is linked down below as well a lot of our discord members use the same exact sites and like I said if I'm missing some sites let me know in the comments below I'm sure people that are new to the channel or even frequent flyers they haven't heard of every single website out there and there's always you can constantly improve become a better sports gambler so leave them in the comments below let's get into the first website first website of the day we're talking about odd shark so as you see on the on the screen, and keep in mind, every single website we talk about today will be linked down below in the description. I don't get paid to mention any of these. These are just the websites I like to use. But Oddshark, what I use it for is I look at the matchups and spreads for the upcoming slate. So normally I'm waking up pretty early and a lot of sports books don't have the normal like, hey, here's the over under for the Jazz Lakers game. A lot of them really just have the spreads. And oftentimes I wanna pick those over unders. I wanna give you guys those picks, but oftentimes some sports books don't have them. And the ones I use notably don't normally have them. So Odd Shark, as you can see at the top of the screen, every single game, it normally puts the spread and the over under. It kind of shows you where the money's flowing, where it's going. But as you can see, this is what I use in the morning to see the different picks. Now, one negative to Odd Shark, which it really isn't even that big of a negative, is that it doesn't give you the team's total points. So normally you'll see in our videos, especially NBA, that I'm talking about Magic's team total under in points or Phoenix Suns over in points, things like that. Now, Odd Shark doesn't give you those exact numbers, like 102 and a half points or 105 and a half, things like that. But you can easily deduce those by just looking at the math, doing a simple math, looking at the over under and the spread, and then you can easily find out what the overall team total should be about within a point or two. Now, I do wanna note, this isn't just for NBA. This can be used for MLB, it can be used for NFL, you name it. If you see in the top left, you have a bunch of different options for each different sport. Obviously, NFL and college football aren't both there because we're recording this mid-April. Of course, those two seasons are not, those two sports are not in season right now. So, as the seasons get closer, sports get closer to starting, those will show up in that tab. You'll be able to see every single sport that you want to see. Now, Odd Shark does do a cool thing. They give you recent facts to show like how a team has been doing over the past couple games against the spread over underwise. They also can give you some useless stats like you see here with the Phoenix Suns that they're six and one against the spread in their last seven games on a Tuesday. Now, while you can't do much with that, I mean, you could hammer the Phoenix Suns against the spread and we actually have them in today's video. But you can use those things to kind of get a good gauge and then use the other websites we talked about in a little bit to kind of give you a better kind of understanding or pick that you're going to go with today. Now, once I have opening lines and facts, now I've got a good idea what spreads or lines that I'm looking for. So I move on to teamrankings.com, which you'll see on the screen. This site's extremely, extremely useful for noticing trends. Now, it's pretty easy to find those different types of trends and statistics. All you're gonna do is go to the NBA and get to the trends tab. Then you'll see you got straight up, you got against the spread, and you got over under, you got a bunch of different options. 
there. And then you got on the right, you got a bunch of different options, whether you want to talk about as an away team, as a home team with no rest, as a home underdog, as a home favorite, away underdog, all of those, you name it, you could choose those and see which teams are doing best. So here, for example, we'll look at against the spread, ATS, and then we'll look at home underdog, and you can see my Pelicans up near the top. Surprisingly, you can see the Sixers, 4-0 against the spread as home underdogs, and maybe we'll take that into account later on in the NBA season. Maybe we can take that into account, see if they'll continue to keep it going, continue to stay undefeated as home underdogs. So this is a very useful site, one of the ones I use primarily for those spreads and over-unders to see how teams are performing on the road or on or really any other, on no rest, one day's arrest, rest advantage, all of those different things you can really use to, to pick and choose your spots in the NBA for not only spreads, but also over-unders and even money line parlays. Now that's really gonna wrap up the spreads and over-under portion of the video. There is one other site that I use, but I use it for both player props and spreads. So we'll mention it in a little bit. We're gonna talk, move on to player props. And one of the first ones I start with is betting pros. For those people that hate sleeping, and I'll put betting pros up on the screen, for those countries where the NBA doesn't tip off like at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, maybe it tips off in the morning for them, and they're always looking for the lines late at night, Vice versa, this is a good site to see when the lines come up as well as what site is offering what type of prop. And so it's it's very easy to navigate. You go to the NBA tab, player props, and then you're just choosing which, which player you wanna see, what props you wanna see for that specific player and so on. It's really easy to see, really easy to navigate. You get a majority of the lines and you can see them right as they're posted. But let's get into arguably the biggest part about player props and that's the matchup. And there's two specific sites that I use for deducting the best matchups or the worst matchups for players. And that would be fantasy pros and hashtag basketball. Let's talk about fantasy pros first. Now, fantasy pros is useful for a lot of things, but the what I use it for most, and as you can see, there's a bunch of different tabs for different sports, but what I use it for most is to deduct those best matchups of the night. And to get there, you go to DFS, then you go to NBA, and then you go to defense by position, defense versus position all the way at the bottom. And it's pretty self-explanatory from there. You can choose set in the last seven games, last 15 games, or the whole season. And normally I stick to the top last 15 games just because there's a lot of trades that could happen or the trade deadline just passed. And it gives you a good overall sample size. You never really know. There could be injuries that could have affected a team early on in the season. The last 15 games give me a good reference of, of kind of opinion or, or stats. That's what you hear in a lot of my videos I talk about. Over the last 15 games, the blank team has given up the most points to the, to the small forward position and vice versa. So we're gonna just pick one that we actually talked about in yesterday's daily video, De'Aaron Fox. And we're gonna walk through this one, show you how I found this pick and how it ended up cashing and why I locked it in for our daily video and why I bet his over. And so we're gonna sort it. We're gonna sort it by point guards over the last 15 games. Then we're gonna sort it from high to low. And you see chilling up at the top, the New Orleans Pelicans giving up almost 29 points per game, which is over De'Aaron Fox's over 26 and a half points. Now I'm like, all right, I like what I'm seeing. But now I, gotta, now I gotta do some more research, you know? You can always see a team that gives up a lot of points, but if that player's not making use of the opportunity, then it's gonna be useless, and that's where we go to our next site, StatMuse. Now, StatMuse is super easy to use. You can, basically, you just can ask it anything, and it will probably populate and generate that. Since we're already talking about De'Aaron Fox, we're just gonna type in De'Aaron Fox game log versus the Pelicans. And you immediately see why it caught my eye. You see his last four or five games against the Pelicans. He's been absolutely killing it. One of those games was the game we picked his over last night. He absolutely destroyed it and cashed his over. But this almost certified the pick. You could see that the player not only has taken advantage of a great, great matchup, he's also shooting a bunch and he's really been exploiting that defense every single time he plays them. And so that's basically about it. I lock it in, I say, you know what? I love the matchup, love the player, love the opportunity, I'm all in. But you can use stat news for a bunch of different other things. You can even see how LeBron James performs without Anthony Davis, just typing in LeBron James game log without Anthony Davis since 2019. And that can be a very useful tip for when you see a player go down with an injury, see how his teammates have varied, how their stats change with that teammate out, and vice versa. All you're doing is typing in Nikola Jokic game log without Jamal Murray since Jamal Murray just went down with an injury, get well soon. But like I said, the possibilities are endless. You can even do this for teams. And that's what we talked about earlier when we talked about spreads and over-unders. You can look at game logs of teams and see how they performed against each other. Let's say Lakers versus Clippers game log. You can see their point totals and stuff like that. Now, I wouldn't use this to be a judge, like, hey, they've hit the under in three straight games. Maybe that's useful, but you do wanna look at maybe Maybe LeBron James was out that game. Maybe Kawhi Leonard was out that game. Things like that can factor into those over-unders and spreads, but you can at least get a good gauge to see how the teams have played, who's won the most recent matchups, and vice versa. 
And last but not least, very similar to Fantasy Pros, like we talked about earlier about those kind of seeing what matchups are great for point guards or, or centers or anything, you name it. Another website, hashtag basketball, you see it on the screen, very, very similar. To access this one, you wanna Google defense versus position and then type in hashtag basketball. You can see exactly what I Googled, click that first link. That will take you to the screen and you'll immediately see that you can sort it by the last seven days, the two weeks, a month, the whole season as well as you can sort it by position, which you see us kind of messing around with on the screen, sort it by position as well as over like the highest, who gives up the highest amount of points to that position, who gives up the lowest and vice versa. You see those great matchups in green, bad matchups in red. You can kind of use that to kind of get your basis on those player props, exactly how I use fantasy pros to make those kind of decisions. I'm looking at what teams give up like a lot of points to the center, then I'm going right to that center. Is it a good matchup? Is it a good center that I like to bet on? And then we can go from there. Now, I do wanna reiterate, there is no perfect way to do research. And that's why I want you guys to leave your websites and what you guys do down below in the comments. Now, while following these strategies might not make you or turn you into a professional sports gambler, I do hope you learned something from it, used a website, maybe you take away something from it. That would be a dream come true to me. I just wanna help you guys become better sports bettors and have you guys help me become a better sports gambler so we can all become better. Now, there are there's no right way to gamble, but there are a lot of wrong ways. But these are different ways you can always, always, always improve as a sports gambler. And that's why I want you guys to take some of these tips, maybe implement them into your research and strategies, and hopefully it helps you out in the long run. So as a recap, the main sites that I use, which will all be linked down below, like I said, we talked about Stat News, talked about Odd Shark, talked about Team Rankings, talked about Fantasy Pros, talked about Hashtag Basketball and Betting Pros, six different websites that you can use for a variety of different things, not just NBA, but MLB, NFL, hockey, soccer, all of those things you can use these websites for. I just used one example for NBA since our basis of the channel is widely about NBA. So that's why we based it on that. But again, I wanna say I appreciate all of you for the support. If you made it this far into the video, please click that like and subscribe button. It really helps us grow this channel out. Like I said, over 3000 subscribers now. Unreal, we've been growing at a very, very fast pace and I couldn't do it without you guys. Click on that like and subscribe button, getting us out to more and more eyes. We really appreciate it. I will see you next week on our next Betting 101 series video. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about next week as basically all of these videos are normally given to me by you guys and then I just kind of put my own twist on things. So let me know what you want to see. This has been Austin. I will catch you guys again next week as well as in our daily videos. I'm not going anywhere. You'll still see me then. Thank you guys again. This is Austin. I'm signing out. Peace.